is it about being Latino in America that makes identity an even more elusive concept? What is Latino? And who is Latino enough? When I was 24, I, uh, I came up with an idea to launch the first ever book imprint for Latinos in New York. I was one of maybe three Latinos in book publishing back then, and I aimed to change that. I persisted and was given the green light by the only female CEO in the biz at the time. We had a, we had a marvelous run. We published hundreds and hundreds of books that probably would not have otherwise seen the light of day. Again, which I'm proud of. Mm -hmm. So when I sat down to think about what I was going to say today, um, those days in the trenches really popped into my mind. Every day, it seemed like there was a new assault on what I consider to be real Latino identity. Not the base identity that media thought us to be, but the real one. Every day I was asked, why is that a Latino book? Now, I set out to publish books by Latino authors of all genres, which was a level of complexity that the marketing and sales folks didn't always understand. There was, there was one time when I fell in love with a manuscript called this, The Nymphos of Rocky Flats. <laughs> it was so good. It was so great. It had vampires and werewolves and, and a lot of nymphomaniacs. <laughs> the book was, was campy and spooky and sexy. It was so funny. And aside from being written by a Latino and having a main protagonist that was Latino, the book really didn't have anything at all to do with the then marketing and sales understanding of what a Latino book needs to be. It screwed with what they identified how Latinos ought to be and what we should be interested in. I had a really hard time getting that book to the system. When I did, it was a hit. I, uh, I, I published a sequel, um, X-rated Bloodsuckers. Um, <laughs> 